Hi, I'm Tita Josie, and today I'm reacting to episode three of season three of Love, Victor. So I'm still a little bit surprised that Benji was told that he needs to break up with Victor in order for him to continue with his rehab or not really to continue with it, sorry. Um, it's more like it would be better for him if he avoided anything that would cause him kind of like heightened emotions. And yeah, like I, I kind of understand that whole idea. It just kind of sucks for Victor though, because he just thought that Benji would be going away for some time to focus on himself and to go through rehab. But I don't think he really expected that Benji would decide to break up with him. So, <sighs> but anyway, like at least things with Raheem have kind of been patched up between him and, well, between Raheem and Victor and lake and felix finally managed to talk as well that was awesome and yeah i'm really excited to uh to watch episode three. Oh, uh, yeah and by the way mia also uh, might possibly stay in creekwood even if her father does move out or does uh, move to uh i forgot the university where he's going but he's going to california i believe so I am going to head straight into my reaction to episode three now. If you're watching this on YouTube, by the way, um, I can only post highlights as well as a masked version of the episode as part of my reaction. But if you do want to watch the full reaction without the mask over the video and with better audio and with no cuts, then please head over to my Patreon. So I'm going to be reacting to episode three now and I'll catch everyone after. See you in a bit. compliment i hope my waist is that tiny when i'm her age mm -hmm. all i'm saying is it might not be the worst idea for you to have some fun what's the point because any guy i meet doesn't stand a chance because i'm still hung up on benji oh i lived it Ooh. speaking of someone just posted about your former boo on creek secrets Bender Benji's holiday ski trip was really a secret jaunt to rehab. Oh. Aww. Ski trip thing was kind of a terrible lie. There he is. Do you think he knows? Like, oh. Maybe I should go see if he's okay. I... Except we shouldn't be talking. Mm. See anyway. That's tough. Hey, friend. Hey. I just saw Victor. But I'm not supposed to talk to him. Mm. I'm drowning in calculus right now because I missed a week and got like no homework done over the winter break. Don't kill the messenger, but I have another cloud to add to your shitstorm. Oh god. What is it? Okay, so some rando must have found out that your ski trip wasn't a ski trip. It was a post about you going to rehab. What up? Ski have? Oh. I only told you and Victor, but I did say he could tell his closest friends. Yeah. Oh, you think that Raheem told other people? Hey. Oh, it's him. That's Nick. Oh. I, I will stay for dinner, but only because he raised me to be boy. Ooh, you did good, Isabel. Sort of. <laughs> mm hmm. Seriously. Sorry, I uh, I thought you worked Mondays and Wednesdays. 
And yes, I memorized your schedule because I hate awkward run-ins just as much as I love this place's cinnamon o lattes. Mm. A double shot, so you can have enough energy to blow up someone else's life. Is this a oh. today's rehab post? Because I would never, ever write something like that. Right, right. Because you have so much honor. Except when you're kissing other people's boyfriends. Oh, Raheem. Benji. Parents are pimping on Victor to some random kid. Meanwhile, my dad treats me like I'm about to be the next story on Dateline. Wow. You're even worse at fake laughing than Victor. Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It's just, you know, this whole my mom dating thing's throwing me for a loop. Mm -hmm. She seems like she's feeling a lot better. I know, okay, and I want to believe that she is. The last guy my mom was with was my dad, and when they split, she spiraled hard. I just don't want some random guy undoing all of her progress. <gasps> Hi! Hi, uh, you must be Felix. Uh, yes, yes. Um, uh, Pilar. Hi. Hi. Stuart. Mm. Thank you for meeting us here, you guys. Um, okay, I'm gonna let you guys get to know each other a little bit more, and I'm gonna go get our dates, and we'll get started. Mm-hmm. So, um, how did you two meet? I own a meditation studio, and... Oh! Oh! I love that. You must be taking your class for mental health. I assume you guys talked about that, right? We have uh, a lot, actually. Uh, but who hasn't had a smidge of depression here and there? You know, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a smidge. It's not a smidge. You know, it almost makes it sound cute. Oh. You're right. You're right. I, I guess I was just trying to keep things light. You know, mm. uh, in this class of. Um, healing energy uh do they teach how to force feed someone toast when they're unwilling to eat or just to get dressed i'm gonna take a shower felix stop it felix he's ready to get your cake cut by <laughs> felix i think you need the class felix uh sorry it took me a minute to get ready Worth the wait. Oh my god, he's hot! Thanks. I'm not usually drenched in sweat when people come over for a dinner party, but this kind of sprung on me last minute. Well, can I be honest? My parents dragged me here kicking and screaming. So oh. <laughs> uh, so you didn't want to come? The only thing they knew about you was that you were gay. So, of course not. I was offended on principle. Yeah, same, same. <laughs> my mom is still new to the whole supportive mother of a gay son thing. Yeah. And, uh... Also, I, I kind of just recently um, been going through like a pretty bad breakup, and hmm. um, everyone's like pressuring me to move on. But I just don't know if I'm ready to yet. Well, I don't know. Maybe everyone's onto something. Oh. Um. I have an idea. Watch this. Oh, I I'm such an idiot, Mom. I I totally forgot to bring the pie. Oh. Well, sweetie, we told the Salazars that we would bring dessert. I know, I know. I'm so sorry. Um, I, I can just run out and go get another one. It's fine. I'm sure that I can find something. Please, Mrs. Salazar. My parents will never let me live this down. Um, Victor, would you want to come with? Oh. Uh, yeah. Sure. Bye. I am so behind on calc right now, it's not even funny. I really don't have time to spend a half-assed apology. Good. Because I'm not here to give you one. Mm. But I did backtrace the username of the person who did post about you. And it's that senior kid, Jonah. Oh. Apparently he had a cousin in rehab with you. So he's the asshole. Except I... I did kiss your boyfriend at a mm. wedding. And I thought you two were maybe over, and for that, I'm very, very sorry. Mm. Got it. Thanks. I'm not your enemy, Benji. Mm. Well, you're not my friend. Oh! I mean, the gays in Creekwood are getting kind of snappy! First it was Raheem in the last episode, now it's... It's Benji. <laughs> so 
So, uh, we're not here to get pie. Ooh! Ah! That's her! But I don't blame him. Look, look at Nick! Look at every part of Nick! Yes, honey! Oh my god, yeah! Ay! Ay! Oh my god, what are we doing? Oh! Oh my god! I mean, I know they're supposed to be 17, but that is not the body of a 17 year old! Okay? <laughs> Mm. I know you're coming from a good place, but you're acting like my dad. Mm. He's so overprotective and scared of anyone ever trying to hurt me that he doesn't let me live my life. And now I'm forced to hide the best thing that's happened to me and probably forever from him. And it, it feels terrible. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. Not the best thing that's ever happened to you. Little old me. Mm. Second best. That cake in a cup is really good. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to let your mom live. Yes. Even if you're scared of her getting hurt. Mm. And guess what? Things could work out. Yes, they could. That was insane. I've never done anything like that before. <laughs> Do I look okay? Yeah. Um, better than this pie that I think got crashed in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Victor! <laughs> oh, now he's insta stalking Nick! Oh my god, that last picture! Mm. Oh, well, Benji, I mean, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Mm. Oh, hey, Benji, uh, your tutor will be here any minute. He's only a sophomore, but he's already taking AP Calc. He's the best. I'm really happy you reached out for extra help. I'm guessing it's Raheem. Hi, Mr. Bumgarner. I'm here to meet the student that I'm oh. tutoring. Yes, there we go. I knew it. Finally, something we can agree on. Mm-hmm. I'm sure someone's gonna love you. Oh, that's the end of the episode. Well, you know what? Like, I'm not mad at Victor. I'm really not mad at him. Because, my God, like, Nick? Wow. Like, wow. <laughs> Isabel, you struck out, honey. Good job. I mean, you know, I kind of agree with Victor. You could dial down on, like, trying to make up for what you did in season two. Okay? Because Victor is... He'll get over it. But you did good, honey. You did good. <laughs> And, you know, like, I'm glad that Raheem and Benji are kind of, like, talking. I mean, they're kind of talking at each other, not really with each other yet. But they'll get there. They'll get there. So, Felix also, like, I, I understand him. Like, I understand Felix wanting to protect his mother. But Hilar is completely correct. Like... Felix's mother should be allowed to live her life and be happy in the way that she feels she'll be happy. So hopefully at some point, at some point, Felix is going to, you know, just relax and let her be. And you know what, like his mother's boyfriend or, you know, the one that she's dating at the moment, I don't know if they're boyfriends yet, uh, but you know, like, he teaches meditation. I think, Felix, you could use that. Meditation definitely will help you. 
and you know other things as well too because he went through a lot really trying to take care of his mother like you know so i i, I understand him as well i i get where he's coming from because i love felix another great episode only five more to go before love victory is done so i'm gonna try to take my time but in the meantime thanks for watching my reaction to episode three Take care, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.